Let me quickly take you through three different ways you can find opportunity in terms of volunteering as an aspiring data analyst. This is definitely going to be very useful for people that are still looking for a job. And you know, if you do some volunteer work, that might actually enhance your CV. So the first way, actually, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to take you through some example of some things that I found that might be very, very helpful. So the first way is just to go through the traditional route. So I'm talking about just apply normally in terms of like, you know, you search for a job on your portal, like maybe Indeed or maybe LinkedIn and some other, you know, job portal that I had there whereby, you know, you just search as if you're searching for a normal job, but of course, when it comes to volunteering, you have to, of course, use that keyword of volunteer. And also, you know that you're definitely not good. Well, in most cases, you won't get paid for, you know, volunteer work. So, of course, you understand that already. So, yeah, search through normal, traditional, you know, way of searching for normal job. And then the second way would be for you to just look around and in terms of like look around you, like, you know, what are the specific organization that have maybe advertised job before, advertised, um, you know, volunteer job before. So those organizations, that means if they've advertised, um, you know, job before, volunteer job before, that means they possibly might see be interested in volunteer because sometimes, you know, an organization need a particular skill or a particular role to be filled, but it's not really like urgent, especially it's very common in like maybe a uh, big organization or maybe some small organization as well. Like it's not really, they are not really like pressing, pressing for that particular uh, role to be filled. But if somebody show up and just say, okay, they would like to offer their service as just volunteer on paid, you know, a uh, job, yeah, they might be interested. So you can look around for, you know, such organization by through search as well, through searching on Google, and then you will find out that maybe some roles are there, but has been closed. Yeah, so but that such organization, you can just approach them and maybe message them and say that you are looking for a volunteer opportunity. Who knows? You never know, they might be uh, interested to be able to, you know, to get you to be able to work for them. I actually mentioned three ways, but I think there are four ways actually. So another way um, is really to actually go and find those specific organizations that are known for volunteering. What I mentioned before is those ones that they had, they had advertised job before that yeah, volunteer, you know, opportunity before, and they might be interested again. So maybe, you know, sometimes you don't ask, you don't get, but the one that I'm talking about uh, this time around is the one that has to do with, you know, they are specialized in, you know, volunteer work. And there are examples of those as well. So which I, I'm actually going to take you through some example uh, towards the end of the video. So there are those one who, Definitely, they are known for volunteer. They are known for, you know, giving, you know, um, having projects that require volunteer to help them with those projects. So you might, you, you might find those as well. So again, I'm going to take you through some of them. And then the last one, uh, the last way to be able to find volunteer work would be for you to create one yourself. What do I mean by create? What I mean is that, let's say, for example, there is a particular organization that is just uh, maybe in the city where you live or something like that, you can just approach them and you can approach them, maybe a particular company. Um, yeah, so you might, or maybe let's say school as well. It could be school, it could be university, especially those sort of like um, government organization, right? So you can just literally message their, you know, message their HR and just say that, you know, you're a data analyst and you, you know, you believe that, or sometimes you might actually just think about the way that data can be useful for a particular organization and then propose it to them. You can propose it to them and say that, okay, put in the provider, write some things and say that you believe, you know, if you are able to get hold of some of their data, a particular data set, you know, for the organization, you might be able to use get some insight from that data and that will help in their decision making process yeah so it could just be like you know private organization 
it could be um you know government organization it could be like yes yeah, so i mentioned school especially you know school yeah so school or university or whatever higher institution um yes yeah, so, and then of course there are government organization as well that yeah so like maybe even the nhs really nhs i mean it's not really like there's one particular rule that say that okay you cannot go to them you can approach an hr of a particular organization um like nhs and just say maybe ambulance service uh, maybe um you know a um like a provider it could be a private you know healthcare provider you know all of these it's just for you to yeah yeah to, to just approach them and see what they say it's as simple as that. There are a lot of government, you know, organizations like maybe land registry, um, I don't know, maybe, uh, you know, environment agency. Yeah, so there are a number of these organizations that are government related that you can literally just message. So where a lot of people go wrong is that you might be thinking that you're looking for a volunteer work and then you think you're just easily going to get it on the platter of gold. For the fact that you're not going to get paid for what you are going to do, that doesn't really mean that it's just that going to be that easy for you to get it. So even though you're not going to get paid for it, but you still have to work hard to be able to find it. So message a bunch of, you know, different organizations. I and mean, you're never going to know. Local government is another one. Local government, you can send message to HR of a local government and just say that, you know, you're on a spirit and you're looking for a volunteer role. Because sometimes they don't really know that they need, you know, a data analyst, but you, it's up to you to then look at some particular area of their work through studying their website and things like that, and just suggest something that you think that, you know, data, um, data analyst role will be used for them. Believe it or not, there are still a lot of organizations who possibly need a data analyst, but they don't have one. And why do they not have one? Because they haven't really thought of having one. So when, maybe when you send message to their HR, maybe that's when they were going to suddenly, it's suddenly going to click to them that, oh, okay, right. So yeah, we might possibly need this particular service and then they might ask you to do it. And you never know going to know, you might do that volunteering work for them and then they might actually say that, okay, Actually, we want to give you a contract to be to actually get paid to do a proper work for them. As promised, let's have a look at some example. And this is Data Coin UK, and you can see it right here on here they have volunteer with it. So you can yeah put in your application to become a volunteer. Uh, yeah, so they are specifically really interested in. Uh, people that want to volunteer as a data analyst or data scientist so yeah why not <laughs> and that's one example and of course another example is related to yeah so organization that maybe in the past they've uh, put in hardware for uh, you know volunteer or generally maybe from time to time they do um, you know, get volunteers. So you can see that this particular one says this application is now closed or full, but that doesn't really mean that you can't see contact them. So you can contact them. You never know. Maybe the time you are contacting them, it might just be that time. Maybe that's when they are thinking about putting in advert again, or they are trying to put in the information on their website to say they are looking for analysts. So yeah, so you can see that they said more than 12,000 volunteer account for 85 percent of their workforce so if that is the case you never know if you contact them maybe you might be on the waiting list or something like that and then they might you might be able to get some volunteer um, opportunity with them okay so another example is just um yeah so it's just this particular one as well uh, data analysis volunteer role so it doesn't matter whether they are currently looking or not you can see contact them and you know contact them and just uh, you know you know send your cv to them and then you might just have the opportunity to be able to um, get some volunteer you know opportunity to work with them 
So this is another example and you can see here King's College London and this is what I'm saying like you know sometime you might just um if this one if they are putting the information uh for uh you know for volunteer as a data analyst who knows you know there will be other ones as well can kind of other organizations whereby if you contact them and put in some information do a bit of research on what they do what they stand for and things like that and you know what type of business they do or whatever organization they have you know if you do that you might be able to get a role and um yeah so something that maybe they are not aware of uh so if you uh almost like nudging them and let them be aware of it so you might be able to um yeah so get opportunity and generally it's just really searching on google as well and this example that we're talking about like you know this particular um lady chin dera bakwe that's what that name is um i don't know but um i saw the post um on linkedin and you know when you look at this you can see that she definitely has you know some information here i don't know i see dot uh, see so i guess she's possibly um not based in uk uh so but it doesn't really matter where she's based uh but what i'm saying here is that the information that is she put up on uh uh linkedin page um so that is um yeah so that you can try some of these links as well and see you know what opportunity might be there for you to be able to grab some volunteer role hope somebody find the circular one useful and don't forget to click on the like button if you find it useful the purpose of clicking on the like button is so that you know the algorithm can share the video with other people that we find it useful and uh thank you for watching and God bless.